from Case Gymnasium on the campus of Boston University, it's Patriot League Women's Basketball. Tonight, the Terriers play host to the Greyhounds of Loyola, Maryland. Terrier defense stands their ground again. Two minutes into this first quarter, just one basket. Here's Maggie Pina from behind the arc, right in there. Five nothing Terriers. Terriers back on offense now. Liz Sheen from behind the arc. She's got three. Terriers have 12 seconds on the shot clock. Johnson to Durant. Now Esposito drives into the paint. Jumper is in for two. Johnson facing a double team here. Now fires from behind the arc and gets three. Sydney Johnson on the boards. That's ranked second in conference games in field goal percentage, and here's another chance for her uncontested. She fires and gets two more. Sydney Johnson takes it down the court herself and gets up to five points. Greyhounds get their first three pointer of the game. Liz Sheen answers right back. She gets her second of the game. Terriers are up. And Terrian pass back and forth. Rozzi tries to shovel it to Lex Terrian, instead turns the ball over. What a pass to Leonard. Leonardo. Uninterrupted path to the basket. Shot clock about to expire. Terrian's got to fire a shot. She does and gets it in just before the clock expires. Terriers. Durant can't hold on to that pass. Now charging down the court. Tenedo lays up and gets two. Real bad news for the Greyhounds. They'd be losing their best player. Pina drives to the basket and gets two. Nice job there by Pina. First half set up behind the arc and trying to take it inside. And that's where a lot of the travels came as Maggie Pina gets three. One of the finest sharpshooters on this team. She gets her second three of the game. Esposito, just behind the elbow, gets nothing but net for two. Emily Esposito, Terrier defense stands their ground as Liz Sheen taking it down the court, fires and scores! Newman at the baseline, nowhere to go, sends it back behind the arc, intended for Rossi, but Sidney Johnson was there, has the wide open look and gets two. Third quarter. Terriers down to 10 on the shot clock. Liz Sheen gets another three-pointer. Absolutely, she put her back into it for that one. One more and she'll be out of the game as Maggie Pina fires and gets three. Maryland, Dixon looking for an angle, goes back behind the arc, fires the long three and drains it. Terriers answer back, they're back up by 10. And Johnson is into double digits. Rossi behind the back, what a shot! Bree Rossi drifting away from the basket. Davenport's pass for Johnson is intercepted by Rossi. Rossi fires and it's blocked by Davenport! With Talia Dixon. Dixon, great pass to Ava Tarian, but it's blocked by Esposito. Great pass to the basket, but the layup misses. Long pass to Pina, who's got a wide open look to Davenport, and Davenport's on the board. Lauren Davenport with a much needed bucket. Right. However, the Terriers maintaining that six point lead. Looking to expand upon it. Johnson weaves her way through traffic, fires, and gets two. Sydney Johnson up to 12 tonight. Durant hands it off to Pina, way behind the arc. Terriers down to five seconds. Johnson to Esposito. Esposito's got a wide open look, and she's got two points. Johnson kicks it out to the corner. Esposito weaving her way through traffic. Fades back, fires, and gets two more. Double digits in this game for Esposito. Time as she can with a minute left in the game. Out to the corner, it's Pina. She fires, can't get three, but Lennard grabs the rebound. Pina's gonna try again. This time she's got it. Maggie Pina on take two gets her fourth three of the game. Terriers will burn off the rest of that clock to take the shot clock violation, leaving the Greyhounds with just 1.5 seconds left. We'll see if they fire off one more shot to close out the game. Inbound it to Keegan Douglas, and she won't. That's the ball game. The Terriers improved to 6-0 in conference play. They take down the Greyhounds. 65-47 is your final tonight here at Case Gym.
16 points apiece from Sydney Johnston and Liz Sheen. And Maggie Pina leading the way for all scorers with 17, including four three-pointers. I'm here with Maggie Pina following her season-high 17-point performance. Maggie, I've seen this team after a lot of wins, but you guys seemed particularly excited tonight. What did this one mean to you? Uh, well, it's just really tough. We're down, I don't know, seven or eight people. Uh, so we really just wanted to win for them. We had everyone step up. Everyone came in off the bench. You know, it's been a hard uh, few practices when we've been down so bad, but we just want to come out and prove that, like, no matter who we have, we're going to win as a team. And it's the team's first ever 6-0 start in Patriot League play. What's special about this year's group? Uh, you know, I think this group has just been working really hard for the past two years. Freshman year, season got canceled. Last year, lost in the championship. It was the first time in the championship. And we just never want to have that feeling again. We want to come out, win every game. We want to host this year's championship, and we want to win. And you've had a difficult stretch, but not tonight. You were on fire. What was working for you? Um, you know, I think just all my teammates being able to drive and attack and everyone being able to score makes my shots a lot easier. You know, me driving makes everyone come out at me harder. Um, just like sharing the ball and everyone scoring on the team makes it scoring easier for everyone. And now you're off to Lehigh in a rematch of last year's Patriot League championship game. What does that game mean to you? Um, that's another one. We're still going to be down a few people, but we'll have a few more guys back. Uh, we're just really ready to come in and dominate and, you know, show, give them the game we should have given them last year here. Thank you, Maggie. I'm here with Coach Ashley Walker. Coach, the Terriers pulled out a win tonight. Down key starters and a short bench. What does that say about the character of this team? I mean, it just says a lot about our girls. They were super juiced coming into practice. They were really well in shoot around, and then they came out and performed tonight. It just really shows you how well our girls play together and how deep our bench really is. Anybody can get in and get a bucket. And Maggie Pina tonight with a, with a season high 17 point performance. What was working for her tonight? I mean, she was just really confident in her shot. You saw she missed one. She got right, got it right back, knocked it down. She just played really confidently tonight. She was helped on def defense. She boxed out. She played great defense, and it just showed on the, on the board. And the Terriers had a really tough second quarter, zero points from the field. What was the message in the locker room at halftime? It was just to play our game, be calm, and then come out and do what we did in the first quarter. I mean, we got a little bit crazy in the second quarter, and then we came out in the third quarter calm, cool, collective, and then, you know, we got the win at the end of the day. And now the Terriers are off to take on Lehigh in a rematch of the Patriot League Championship. What adjustments do you want to make before then? Right now, we just want to play our game. What we've been playing the last five games is clearly doing something right. You know, so we're going to go into that as Terrier defense, Terrier basketball, Terrier offense. And we're going to see what the outcome is. I know they're juiced for this game. They're, they hurt, they hurt, hurt from last year. And so I know they're ready. No matter what the outcome is on Saturday, no matter how many people we have on the bench, we're going to be prepared and ready. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, that's all from Case Gym, where the Terriers take down Loyola, Maryland, 65-47. to